snow we got about a foot to 14 inches of snow I guess I have to take a few breaks I think just trucking on you know, half mile in still snowing like crazy Obediently following me right wherever I go. An old set of wolf tracks, I think, in front of me. Traveling on. Oh. Snowshoes sink about I don't know, six to eight inches every step. We got two guys coming later. Hopefully the trail will be all hardened up for him. Sometimes you gotta scrunch down. Ooh, there's some snowshoe rabbit tracks. I'm old, but keep my eye out for some fresher ones. Still snowing. Still heading up the trail. Oh. Gotta be careful or you get covered in snow. <clears throat> Reeking trail. And I'm pretty wet already. Sweating and from freaking snow. Probably only three quarters of a mile in. Well, I found a spot I like, well, kind of like, at the hardwoods. There's a little bit better firewood than back in all that pine. The snow's probably about 16 inches deep in here. I'm going to cut, clean that out a little bit and have a fire in there. Maybe some of the snow will not make it all the way down and fall on me. Then. I know I got my camp looking okay. I got this spot underneath this little balsam stand where there wasn't too much snow so that means that I'm not going to get a lot of snow falling on me while I'm in there so I shoveled it away and shoveled up likely spots where you can maybe sit down put the snowshoes on top of them make seats out of them and then right now I'm going out to get some firewood cut so I can get my fire going and sometimes I wonder why I do this uh, I love this this hobby going out in the woods and enjoying myself but I'm tired out right now and I'm wet there's my camp I got a pole set up to hang my pots off of it's got like a I don't know, 16 foot dead spruce that was pretty sturdy and I stuck it up on the forks of the trees around me I got it so it's uh, it's above head level so I don't have to be ducking on it or walking around the poles or anything and I got these paracord taut line hitch tied onto a stick. And that's got a fork on the end that just hooks onto the pot. And I can adjust it up and down if I want to. Um, move it off to the side, whatever. Works pretty good. It's a good system. Learned that from Jason at the Frozen Butt Hang. <clears throat> I got some firewood. I need some more, but I'm gonna eat first because I'm beat. I got some water going down there. I got some honey warming up in that pot I'm gonna put in my water. And I got a frozen meal in that pot. Should be done pretty soon. One of them Stouffer's meals. The other big pot is for water. I got my gloves sitting on there trying to dry them off, but they're just getting snowed on as fast as. And I got a little bacon on here. 
Oops, looks like it's ready to fall off. I'm hungry. I want some bacon. We got Steve, aka Snippin. The bacon supplier. The bacon supplier. <laughs> and Brent, who goes by Jesse. Some bacon. Which we have suspended off of our pot hooks. And it's still snowing. There's the setups. Brent, Steve's, goodbye. It snows a little deep. Almost to the top. Yeah, if you had your little saw, you could have cut that off first, Steve. I gotta go around it. <laughs> That's not much sympathy coming from the front right now. <laughs> hey, we're to the top. <laughs> little Pomeroy Lake. Got a little layer of water in between the ice and the snow. But the snow is only like eight inches deep which is way nicer than in the woods. You're not going to fall down again, are you, Bill? <laughs> again? I don't know yet. I haven't stopped moving. <sighs> Heading back. <sighs> Less snow to fall on you, but still a little bit. Winter is here. It sure looks pretty with all the white. Here's the road. Well, unplowed road. Snowmobile's been driving on it though. Or skidoos for you Canadians. Woohoo!